Welcome, one and all, to the Grand Space YouTuber Thunderdome. Today, we are playing a brand new game with some brand new faces to see who is the rightful Space Emperor. Our opponents today, however, are grizzled veteran gamers, including the person my audience has asked me to collaborate with the most, the enigmatic American who glitches games and reality known as Let's Game It Out. That's right, today, we're not just working together, we're battling together. But it takes a lot to get a group as brilliant as this, and it wouldn't be possible without today's sponsor, Paradox Interactive, who paid all of us to battle in their brand new game, Stellaris Nexus. Now if you want to give this game a go yourself, it's in open beta at the moment, and it goes into early access on the 12th. I have a link in the comment section that you can use to show your wonderful support for the channel and also this fun game. Joining the team today are Ambiguous Amphibian, the Floridian Philosopher, Hazor, the a scheming strategist, Lollipop Jai, a deceptively cunning gamer, and finally, Grim Kleeper, the genocidal war criminal of Grand Strategy YouTube. Still, these are all innocent YouTubers who can be manipulated by the right evil person to guarantee total victory. Today, I intend to find out if a master exploiter can defeat these innocent YouTubers using his mental shenanigans. Before we do battle, I must first explain how this game roughly works. Stellaris Nexus plays like a fast-paced board game, perfect for battling and scheming against friends. The winner is decided by succession points, and when you gain at least 100 points via any means necessary, the game is won when you next go to council, by whoever has the highest points over 100. These points can be gained by using all aspects of a grand strategy game, deceptive schemes of subterfuge, brutal conquest, refined diplomacy, tricking your friends, and my personal favourite, using absolutely busted and broken exploits. You might notice an issue here for the setup of this game, for I am the spiffing Brit, the greatest exploiter of video games. And Paradox Interactive gave me this game two weeks in advance, and within my first eight hours, I'd already found everything I needed to smash my opponents. So let's see if it works and dive into our first game. Who do you think's gonna win? Now in the first game, I'm playing as the squid merchantmen who gain the ever-important leader experience simply by making money. When our turn begins, we draw free edicts. These represent the big actions we can do. In my case, the most important card in my deck is the trade card, as this lets me make money. Every edict and action in this game costs either support or materials. However, money is a third currency that can be used to replace the cost of either. This makes it wonderfully balanced, provided I can get my economy up and running. The plan is simple, make money, make more money, and then spend money to buy my way to victory. Now, I want to briefly spotlight our dangerous enemy, let's game it out. He is playing the Vor, which are effectively the space nerds. They have the potential to outtake everyone in this game easily and become completely untouchable, meaning I have to do my best to keep technologically on pace with this dastardly American. Guys, I'm, I'm quite friendly. I'm all about trade and commerce. You guys love trade I just, and commerce. I just know you're going to whip out an exploit with like infinite fleet power. Trade and commerce, guys. I've already built it. two stock exchanges on our home planet spiff would you like to trade oh my wait you did a turn one open <laughs> stock exchange wow. that's the money, a, the money move. Things. <laughs> i you know it does mean i really want to trade with you yes that sounds amazing eventually i make enough money to level up and i'm probably the first player to do so now the most powerful level up abilities are at the end of the tree so my first pick exists to just get me there faster i go for xenophile giving me more trade value so i make more money oh and i also get more votes in the council which allows me to swing outcomes into whatever I want. Oh, another important thing to mention is that the center of the galaxy is a planet called Nexus, which gives you a whopping 12 victory points provided you hold it on the turn of a council meeting. It's very jazzy. Trade. 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 I, trade. I am trading trade. with you. I am currently trading with you. We thank you. Uh, can't you see the credits in your account? AA, I have a trade deal coming your way. It gives you a bunch of money. Um, in return, it gives me a building of yours that allows me to make even more money, which in just turn don't. means I can give just you more don't. money. Just don't. The obvious answer is just don't. You should do it. Oh, I you, don't even, you don't even need to listen to him. Oh, don't worry. It arrives next That's turn. Friends. Okay, what are we voting for, people? Oh, we've got to kill Josh. He's in the lead. Look, he's on seven points. That's, I that's did too it! Dangerous. That's super dangerous. I, I propose we should definitely vote for the readied shield, at least, because a free battleship's a free battleship, guys. So, yeah, everybody all put all of their votes in that. Spiff, this isn't a very good deal. 
What do you mean? I'm giving you literally a load of money. Do you have no idea how powerful money is in this game? Oh, wait, there's money there, too. You can use money as support. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll take that. It's like yeah. additional actions per turn. How could you, you not want my lovely money? Spiff, what is with the formation of your planets? Uh, a certain Hazor stole one planet that is very much normally meant to be in my sphere of influence. Stop and stealing from I Veneer. Had to go around it. That is incredibly awkward. Do you want me to try to take one of his planets? I no. mean, if you want to, you can. He is the very rapid expansion faction, so if you take it, he can probably expand very swiftly back into it. Oh my god, I got $48 trading with you? Okay. $48? With who? With you? I think you, Smith. <laughs> yes, it is with me. <laughs> Trade with me. You'll get boundless quantities of money. But just know you can't trade with someone you're at war with. Guys, I really like this this communications regulation. I'm just saying. No, the communications regulation is the worst possible thing. Look, it's not that <laughs> we bad. I'm, I'm only going to make tomorrow? all your systems neutral. Building, building a better tomorrow is, is best for everyone, whereas communications relay only benefits the rat. Not rat. true. Let's do it. Hazor, Hazor. <laughs> I want, it to, be, I want it to be a peaceful tomorrow. and pretty planet. And I want you to, sorry, universe, where we all share and we're all friends. But most importantly, we all believe in the, the jellyfish gods, right? I'm only going to share if it benefits my finances. Thank God. Jelly people, I'm going to trade with you because I don't want Spiff to have the money. Oh, I, d okay. I don't know if I get the money for the trade going into me. Uh, we'll both receive credits. Oh, no, okay, I do receive money when you trade with me. It's fine, I, I have 102 credits, it doesn't matter. Money is meaningless. What are you using Trade. It for? I'm literally Clipper just, trade. I'm just sat on it. I, I can't do anything with it, really. And I have my fourth level up available, and I've successfully been hiding my true power on the scoreboard by appearing as an unthreatening trade empire. I do unfortunately make a mistake here and grab the Relentless Industrialist perk, which just adds another construction edict into my draw pile, making it harder for me to draw my overpowered trade or merchant abilities. Still, I have been able to encircle the Nexus, allowing me to control who can access it. My only issue is that I now board a Grim Cleeper, the Rat Faction. Now, unluckily for me, Grim Grim has played this faction before and absolutely loves them. Luckily for me, however, Grim told me ahead of the game that he hadn't found the same exploit I had with them. Also, Spiff, I think they changed it from last time you played, but it doesn't trigger every edict, or it doesn't trigger every ploy, only one. No, uh, you haven't found the exploit. Okay, that's fine, I'm not gonna oh, say no. it's not that. <laughs> this exploit would allow the rats to execute instant covert actions on all of my planets continuously, making it absolutely impossible to so much as border these furious furry fellas. Well, AA, this genuinely has to be one of the worst trade deals I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> it's really bad. I gave you 10 credits, you bastard. I don't need 10 credits. I really don't yes, need... Yes, you do. Think of all the things you could do with that money. Inflation's been very high. I suppose it has. He makes a good point. I've been building up to this council win by fulfilling the objectives of controlling the most systems and having the highest science on a planet, netting me a very cool 22 points. This yeets me up to second place, and the new potential titles to play reveal that Josh, playing the science boys, have half the technologies researched as I do, meaning we are setting a blistering pace in this game that only the rats are able to keep up with. Spiff, I'm getting 63 credits every single time we trade. <laughs> I, know, I can't spend great. all my money. <laughs> I can't either. I have far too much money. Ooh, someone's trying to blow up my star base. Nice. Thanks, guys. That's so kind of you, rats. You stupid rats. <laughs> you stupid, annoying rats. I am going to purge you from my border if this keeps you up. You can try. I have a 100 <laughs> fleet power thing above you. I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> I will, I will tank my empire for the mere shot of stopping this rat shenanigan. By the way, he has the Nexus. I do have the Nexus. I just bought it using diplomacy. Oh, wow. It looks like everyone would like this star system. <laughs> How... Who's done this? How crazy. How crazy. Why does everyone Who? want this particular star system, Senpai? I Ooh, don't know what's going rat... on, honestly. Rats declare we war. bumped into each other. The rats have declared war on me, so I must now... I... I must no, now no. Fight. It was just... We just went that the wrong was, way. That was an actual war declaration, though. I have to take that seriously. I, I just don't like the fact that you have the Nexus. That's it. Well, if you don't like the fact that I have the Nexus, just use a stupid espionage thing to make me lose the Nexus. You can do that in like two turns. There you go. I got my 12 points for having the Nexus. I'm fine for someone else to have a turn on the Nexus. I want a turn on it. 
but also I'm just, I'm very busy spreading culture. <laughs> Mum said it's this my is, turn. This has not gone this. well. Okay, Who's I Maggot think boy? <laughs> I think we should all vote for the Economist. Uh, this has not gone well. We all vote for Builder, please. Ooh, right. Okay. We're now in the end game. <laughs> I've unlocked my leader's ultimate. Already. Yeah, you've all been trading with him, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, it turns out every time I get money, I, I level up, basically. Yeah, you needed to not feed him. <laughs> I think it would really be a good idea if we tried to kill Spiff, guys. Oh, you fled from my system like some kind of rat coward. I have been identified as the threat in this game. It has now become a 1v5, as everyone is gunning to try and cut me down to size. Luckily, my economy is untouchable, so I can build these off-world trade hub mega structures. They give me yet more money and more victory points. I just need to delay long enough to win and try and shift the focus onto someone else. Yes, we will no, be voting for the economist. All. Wait, did you shift? You know, 37 really votes. did manage to Why? pass the demobilization. Wait, how did you? Oh no. <laughs> How did demobilization get through? He single-handedly <laughs> voted more than us. That's my whole faction is dedicated to voting. Trade Guys, with you. We we have three turns until Spiff wins by a landslide. Yeah, I I don't think there's anything can be done here. You guys keep trading with him. <laughs> I'm the only one who fights Tim. It's not it's not even really the trading issue here anymore. Um, but isn't that what gives you all the levels that are giving you 18 points this time? He was giving me a hundred credits every time that we traded. Of course I'm <laughs> And what has it done for you? Everything was going great. We were poised for success. If I could just hold the Nexus for three more turns, I would undisputedly win the game. But then disaster struck. Those dastardly rats covertly flip the Nexus. In this trying time, I ask your support for my peoples. Just one like on this video is one nuclear warhead that I will personally fling in vengeance at the rat people. Please do your part today, like the video, and remember, the only good rat is a dead rat. Ooh, interference. Do you want to declare Inside. war on Spiff to prevent the game from ending? It's not going to make a difference. I'm sorry, guys. We've got one turn until the next no, it's council. Over. The only way somebody could win is by earning more points, and I'm not sure if Cleeper has any way of doing that. All right, I'll end my turn, and unless Nexus is taken this turn by some kind of miracle event, I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that has been um, our first game of Stellaris Nexus. And there we have it, a crushing victory for me. I made myself irresistible to trade with, making the other players dependent on my economy. This manipulation of the other players allowed me to coast under the radar until the moment where I wanted to strike. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. But as this was everyone first multiplayer game together, we decided to write off the first one as just some kind of test and settle everything in one final showdown of epic proportions. This is it. This is all to play for. So go into the comments and place your bets on who you think will win once and for all. Right, so I chose to play the diplomatic human character, and you might be asking, why on earth would you play the peaceful people in a game full of bloodthirsty dangers like the Kingdom of War led by Josh and Lollip Swarm Faction, especially with a giant target painted on my back because I won the last game? The reasoning is simple. My leader's special ability lets me force empires into diplomatic agreements. If timed correctly, this allows me to force peace between myself and others that they simply cannot negotiate. My plan is to very simply wait peacefully until the end of the game is close, then steal the Nexus and force any potential response into a peace agreement that would take at least one turn to break. It would require perfect timing, a huge amount of deception, and one sexy British bastard to pull it off. So, let's give it a shot. Oh great, I am near the warlike Lollip. Splendid. Hi! Oh, I'm next to AA and Lollip this time. I'm next yeah, to Cleeper and Hazard. Why have I been next to these aggressive people all the time? Not I mean, lovely I'm peaceful faction now. But if you're really yeah, good I'm at this game, do you oh, want actually, to team I take up it all back. I'm sorry, Cleeper. <laughs> you're very nice. I mean, I've nice got to be honest. I, I can tell you that I'm playing a faction where it, it doesn't matter if you want to team up with me or not. We're going to be teaming up. My faction is all about forced diplomatic events. <laughs> is how I describe it. Spiff, would you like to trade again? Uh, yes, and in fact, I'm even going to uh, get a research agreement going with you because I think that'd be lovely. Thank you. Time. 
Yay. What thank a you. Deal. Yeah. Thank Yay. you. Yeah, I haven't actually met anybody yet. I've met two people, thanks to my kind friends being swiftly mobile. Oh, are we also friends with the with the, with the tentacle people? I am friends with the tentacle traders to the north and the incredibly warlike people to the south. Hello. Hi. I've made brilliant friends. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't matter as me. Trade with me, senpai. I'm trading with you. Don't worry, Daddy, Daddy Tentacle Man. You'll get your trades. Oh God! Don't, don't give him the win I'm like British. last time. <laughs> don't give him all the money. I want the money too, though. That's the problem. Greed flows Rock both people ways. people love money. Hey guys, I'm just gonna check on the Nexus for a minute, okay? But are you moving a fleet of 14 into the Nexus? Look, there's there's 28 guarding it. I'm never gonna get that. I just want to see you're not. you. You're gonna die. Why would you do that? Oh, it's okay. You've got another fleet. Thank God. We Wait, won. You're my armies. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, now I I may as well just take the Nexus now that I'm here. Oh, no, YOLO. Now that, now that I'm here, I might as well just uh, steal everything. Go, what about... Let's go Commander or Idolized. Uh, get, the, go... uh, get Josh ahead a little more. We could go for Unity and for Why does non Josh need to get ahead? <laughs> Non-aggression. <laughs> like, uh, I don't believe in that. Of all of the people here. I think we need to just crush the rock people as much as possible. Are we all in agreement? Why not? Yes. Forced, yes. forced non-aggression pact. Peace in our time. Peace excuse in our me, time. excuse me, Earth. Oh, good oh that's you. Is oh, that your fleet of 64 ships with a, a star base right next to it? Hey, everyone, Cleeper's got a star base <laughs> and 64 ships next to the Nexus. Whoa, whoa. I, that's I not mean, the only battleship. one, but okay. The star bases are meaningless, AA. They only add 18, like, combat strength. That's nothing. Yeah, yeah plus my can ships make... can reinforce anywhere. <laughs> you can make ships out. Oh, yeah, there is that. Oh, yeah, he can. Oh, yeah, most technologies. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, go, Commander. Uh, I, Yes, Governor, indeed. Governor is the correct option. I mean, we could do environmental board control. I feel that like environmental everyone. board control really does help everyone. I really like that. Yeah, that just helps everyone with their construction and their planets. That's, a, that's great. Let's go for that. Yeah, everybody vote for that. We're going to watch nobody vote for that. I did with for it. that, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Who oh did it? They did. Only Lollip. Oh, Lollip voted for the peace amongst everyone. She would, because because I'm coming for her. How do you already have your ultimate? I look at my character, right? And How I see have what you already got at. your ultimate? I'm I level three. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not How? afraid to break the non-aggression pact. <laughs> oh my god! There are negatives of breaking the non-aggression packs. Just be warned. I don't care. I have 200 fleet power. Wait, hey, hey are you at war? Uh, no, we're not at war with anyone. You, you Although, do... you just moved into my system. No, yeah, yeah, uh, not you. Because we have the non-aggression pact, so. Why? I don't know. Because now like if you declare war, war, I instantly fight all your fleets. Interesting. I feel like we can't let him sit on the Nexus for too many turns. Um, yeah, I'm. I, that's why I'm building up a fleet here. I mean, it's not why. Uh, that's not why I'm doing that. I'm sorry that you all keep sending me trade convoys and I'm not giving anything back. I just oh don't my get god! Look at that attack from Josh. Whoa! Yeah, those Ooh. fleets came through Ooh, my. Uh, that's they spicy. came through my territory. They looked pretty spicy. Oh no. My god, you beelined all of the military stuff, didn't you? Oh my no. god, Grim! What the hell is that? I, I have so many ships. Jeez, that's a lot of ships. 24 ships. Okay, we could go for the total war option until the next Galactic Council defeating a rival empire. Blah, 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 blah. Or we could just go non-aggression packs for everyone. Uh, the choice is... I think we should just all give each other a load of XP Ooh. so that we spam more alts. Well, as the person with my ultimate already, no. You, sh you would absolutely want to vote that. Yes, I agree. My bloodlust is satiated. It's okay if it's a non-aggression pack now. Hang on a second. Spiff, you've got all the ships over there. Can you help me out here for a second? Uh, I can't because I have a peace treaty with him. Um, me too, yeah. <laughs> so we need some help. Yeah, you, we'd have to break the non-aggression pact, basically. I mean, I can put my fleets in the system and break the non-aggression pact, but I don't think it's... Oh my god! What is that? I, I won't lie, when I zoom out, the numbers kind of cover up and it looks like yeah, one of the I, fleet I, powers I is 10 million. I don't know what's there. <laughs> That's you know what? You guys want to fight over this? Go for it. I'm not even sure what's going to happen here when these fleets clash. Oh my god, you're literally pulling out. Thanks for the planet, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, he did take mine. Oh. Oh, wait. I totally misread the numbers. I thought it said 400. That's a shame. Now I have to break the non-aggression pact with SAA all over something meaningless like that. Why would you go to war over something so petty? What a shame. Oh, yeah. damn it. War. 
Well, I mean, you did take one of my systems, so I am going to take it back. No, uh, okay. Kind of how it All works. Right. I, I mean, I, like, I'll make peace with you as soon as I'm done, but that system's mine. We really need to get on this nexus. We gotta, we gotta, come on, people, let's get together. I'm already maxed out. I want to bring more, but I can't. Don't bother. Am I led to believe this. that there's a good chance that Grim is going to win this? Imminently, um, if we don't do something, yeah, pretty if, quickly. If he yeah. doesn't oh, right, get yeah, kicked off the planet, he wins in eight turns, basically. Should we go nuts on this? Is that the this? only way he's been getting points? I'm, I'm not been doing much. much else. Yeah, he blows stuff up and then he takes planets. What is okay. Smith getting so many victories? Whoa, oh wait, from? he did buy one of my planets. It's because I've been, I've been getting, well, I've been losing out on basically the things we vote for in each of the councils, and it's finally my turn on the turn rotation to win, like the producer one for say four victory points and commander because like it's finally my turn to get the victory points. I guess is how I describe it. I mean, I'm still way behind you. Okay, yeah. I mean, we have to go to war, otherwise he wins, right? Yeah. And why did I'm, I'm you steal that. my planet? Why did you buy me? Because I need it. it. I need it to fight him also. And also, your planets are very nice. I just played as your faction, and I know that, that your weakness. You can't do anything when I take something from you. Oh yeah, we'll see about that, Mr. Squidward. Do you have to wait until the council to get to a hundred? Yeah, I was gonna say he's at hundred. I was gonna say he's already at a hundred. <laughs> With three turns remaining till the next council and Grim guaranteed to win unless I can overtake him, I move in a surprise fleet. This is by far the strongest fleet in the entire galaxy, and it has remained undetected and unexpected. I achieve this eye-watering power by cheesing some of the technologies to make the raiders horrifically overpowered. Basically, each raider ship buffs itself for each other. Of a raider ship, so by building one giant stack of them, they can destroy God. Oh no, the game is not over. We got two years. Oh god, look what's happening on the Nexus. Jeez, this is gonna be one hell of a game. Grim naturally cannot hold the Nexus, and with two turns remaining, the grand battle of the coalition against him clears out his fleet. And before anyone else can claim the system, I snipe the occupation with my fleet and immediately force Grim into a non-aggression pact. Everyone in the lobby now has a non-aggression pact with me, making it impossible for them to declare war on me and occupy the Nexus in time to stop the inevitable. There's simply not enough turns. I think I'm attacking Yay, stuff. the planet is Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's there's a lot a of us in here mess. now. <laughs> oh my god, this planet is so screwed. Did you win? I'm doing the oh same! Oh my god, it's close. Oh, now you, you won. Yes! Another stellar victory! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I have won. This victory was hard fought, and as a humble British man, I want to actually congratulate my opponents, who were ultimately crushed by me, the greatest gamer of all time. That's right, you can't stop me, I'm the god of this universe. All hail the Space Empire, all hail Yorkshire Tea. Finally, we have proved once and for all that whilst our innocent YouTuber friends know how to play video games, they do not know how to do battle with a master manipulator willing to do anything to win. Am I a little bit too evil? Yes. Do people want to play video games with me anymore? No. But provided a third party company can pay them and force them to play video games with me, they have no choice. Thanks, Paradox. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a really unique one-off video that I absolutely loved. I don't often get excuses to play video games with friends, and this was far more fun than I was ever expecting. It was also my first time actually meeting and hanging out with Let's Game It Out. If you guys want to see us work together in the future, make sure to go tell me in the comment section. I'm sure we could do some dastardly things together. As always, thank you very much for watching, and if you're new here, guess what? I've got some incredible videos that you're also going to love. So why not watch one of these on screen now? Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, and goodbye for now.